Are you gonna dance like there? <laughs> yeah. Today I woke up with the biggest smile because I get to marry the woman of my dreams. The day I've been waiting for is finally here and I couldn't be confident that this is exactly what I want. The level of pride and joy that comes with the honor of calling my wife is indescribable. I'm incredibly blessed to have you in my life, someone who believed in me through it all and always have been a supporting, caring, and encouraging wife for me to do and better myself. Your drive and ambition motivates me daily to continually grow our lives together. I know seeing you walk down that aisle will be one of the best memories of my lifetime. Living in that beautiful moment when I get to see your smiling face slowly getting closer. You will always be the center of my world, my princess, and the most kind-hearted, intelligent, and strong woman I could ever ask for. I promise to always be your rock when things get tough, to get out of bed for snacks and drinks when you're too tired, and to always let Chanel out at night. I've said it before, the feeling will always remain the same. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Love your future husband, Yala. Vialba, today has been so surreal. I can't believe I finally get to marry the man of my dreams. You're nothing but amazing, and I am so lucky that I, Pamela Rojeks, get to call you my husband. Although I drive you crazy sometimes, you continue to love me unconditionally. I'm so thankful to have you by my side each and every day until forever. I love you, Vialba. Love your almost wife.
You're going to be seated. Shall we start? Yeah. What greater things than for two persons than to feel they are joined together, to strengthen each other in labor, to rest on each other in sorrow, and to help each other in need, to share joy, to be with one with each other, whatever life has to offer. This is a special time of celebration that Pamela and Victor will long remember. And because of this, they are thankful you are here today to share in their joy. Pamela and Victor, today begins a life of giving and sharing, nurturing and support, allowing each other freedom to change and grow as individuals while developing your mutual spirit as time goes by. In the heart of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's about establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal and the obligation is returned. Today, your family and friends are gathered together to celebrate your union and to witness two wonderful friends, two exceptional and driven individuals committed to sharing life together. Pamela and Victor, you're about to make promises to one another. You will find that as you live by these vows over the years, invest in your time, love and your commitment to one another. The happy times of your life will be twice as joyous but you shall share these joys in marriage. Victor, will you take Pamela, who's then your old? Choosing her alone to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you live with her in a state of true matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, honoring at her at all, at all times and being faithful to her? I do. Pamela, will you take Victor, who's then you old? Choosing him alone to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you live with him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him through good times and bad, in success and health, honoring him at all times and being faithful to him? You did. Thank you. Pamela and Victor will now exchange their vows to each other. Spoken with the love they have for one another deep in their hearts. Pamela, you have the privilege of saying yours first. Is it on? Yeah. From the first day I saw you, yes, at the UCF tailgate, I already knew you were someone special. Somehow you finagled your way into my life and we started a friendship that felt like a lifetime. I couldn't be happier that we have blossomed into our beautiful own love story. I truly love you unconditionally and without hesitation, I'm ready to spend forever with you. I promise to love you, encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I will always be your best friend, your partner in crime, and the love that you need. As a family, we will create a home filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. It may not always be easy, but I promise to work with you to foster and cherish our relationship. I know together we will build a life far better than either of us could ever imagine. Today I choose you to be my husband, I accept you as you are, and I offer myself to you in return. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share all of life's advers <laughs> adversities. All of, and all of <laughs> our joys. <laughs> for this day forward and for all, from this, I'm sorry. From this day forward and for the rest of my life. I can't believe I can finally call you my husband. Now, Victor, would you like to say your vows? Yes. Pamela, I want to start out by saying how lucky I feel to have you in my life. Despite my many flaws, you continuously show your love, patience, wisdom, and kindness, even when I don't make it easy to do so. While I can't thank you enough, I promise to always show you the gratitude and love you deserve. I promise that no matter what joys and hardships are before us, I will never stop choosing you. Your deep love for family and friends is something that I truly adore. <laughs> you got 
And when we start a family, I promise to be the best father I can be because I know you will be the best mother. I can say with certainty right now that in this moment, before all our family and friends, I am making the best decision of my life. I love you beyond measure for exactly who you are. I may not know what lies ahead, but if there's anything I can be certain of about the future, it's that you will be there by my side. Even as I stand here now, it all feels surreal. Because I'm marrying my, big, my biggest supporter, my loving confidant, and my best friend. I don't think. It was the rings. <laughs> The ring is in a broken circle, representing unending love. As often as either of you look at these rings, may you be reminded this moment and the love you have promised to one another. Victor, place a ring on Pamela's finger and repeat after me. Pamela, I give you this ring. Pam. Bring your mic. Yeah. Pamela, I give you this ring. Pamela, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing to share my life with you. And that I am choosing to share my life with you. With a pledge to love you today. With a pledge to love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And always forever. And always forever. Pamela, place the ring on Victor's finger and repeat after me. The mic. Victor, I give you this ring. Victor, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And that I am choosing to share my life with you. And I'm choosing to share my life with you. With a pledge to love you today. With a pledge to love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And always and forever. And always and forever. Pamela and Victor, I wish you both much love and happiness as you begin your journey. Remember to keep lots of laughter in your life and your love for one another will continue to grow. Victor and Pamela just seal just your relationship by giving and receiving of rings. And this is a pledge between two people who agree they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. Today, this relationship is also being symbolized through the pouring of two individual containers of sand. One for you, Victor, and one for you, Pamela. And all that you were, and all that you are, and all that you'll ever be. As the two containers of sand are poured into a third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated, our prayer for you today is that you live together, will be blended like the seven seas, and may your love swirl around each other like the changing tides. I leave you now with the following words. May God bless you with all the love your heart desires. May your love be as beautiful on each day you share as is on the this day of celebration. And may the days you continue to share be as precious as that day you first fell in love. May you always see and encourage the best in each other and the challenges of life will make your marriage even stronger. Continue to be each other's best friend and feel God's love for you. Let your story be full of adventure, success, as you grow old as one. Pamela and Victor, you have pledged your faith to each other in the company of two wonderful families and your circle of friends. And now by the power invested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And finally, you may seal this day with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present for the first time the newlyweds.
and gentlemen, introducing the brother of the bride. Please make some noise for Brett and Vivi with Marcus and Mateo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making her entrance, please make some noise out there for the sister of the bride, Bree T, escorted by Jeff with Kieran, Nadia, and Oma. Please make some noise out there for Benet, Alicia, and Saya. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise out there for our bridesmaid, Jasmine, escorted by groomsman, Christian. Ladies and gentlemen, making their entrance, make some noise for our bridesmaid, Kelsey, escorted by groomsman, Marlon. And now, make some noise for our next couple, Escorted by groomsman Doug. Put your hands together for bridesmaid Brittany. Escorted by groomsman Daniel. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing our bridesmaid Alexandra. Escorted by. Some noise for our bridesmaid, Kayla, escorted by groomsman, Sai! And introducing our maid of honor, Taylor, escorted by our best man, Bradley! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. I need everyone to stand up as we meet for the first time as husband and wife, our newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Well, me, I fall Honey, now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now all but gone and my memory fades And the crowds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm, I know you will still love me the same Cause honey your soul 
could never grow Oh, it's evergreen Baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about So ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a nice round of applause as they share this very special moment. There is no one compares with you. 
loved you more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our bride, Pamela, and her brother, Shashi. Let's also make some noise out there for special guest, JT Maple. Let's have a nice round of applause for our maid of honor, Taylor, and our best man, Bradley. Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Pamela and Victor in the celebration of their marriage. It is so amazing to look out and see how many great friends and family they have in their lives who love them so unconditionally. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Taylor. I'm the maid of honor and one of Pamela's best friends. Pamela and I met freshman year of college when we both lived at Pegasus Connection, more formally known to our friends as PC. <laughs> I would have never thought when we first met almost a decade ago, we would remain friends this long, let alone become best friends. From scoop power hour and adding soap to the PC hot tubs, to studying for masters and doctoral degrees together, I would have not wanted to do it with anyone else. Pamela has been an amazing friend over the years, and regardless of our up and downs, has remained supportive of one another. Growing up, I was an only child. While that was great when I was five because I didn't have to share my Barbies, as I grew older, I longed for a sibling to reach out to in times of good and bad. I am so happy to say over the years that Pamela has become the sister to me I've never had, and I am so appreciative of that. I have had the opportunity to watch her grow, change, and evolve into the wonderful woman and doctor that is before us today, and I'm so honored. <laughs> And I am so honored to call her a best friend. She is smart, generous, and caring. She has a heart of gold and an innate sense of good that she is willing to stand behind. She puts thought, effort, and dedication into everything she does, and no Pamela will approach her role as a wife in the same way. Victor, I cannot thank you enough for making Pamela so happy. You are smart, compassionate, loyal, and funny, and is with comfort knowing that Pamela will always have you by her side. You are her everything and more that I could have hoped for for my best friend. However, I do have a few words of advice for you. <laughs> if she is right, say so. And if she's not, say nothing. <laughs> Get used to two words, yes, dear. She always needs some new clothes, always. If at first time you don't succeed, try doing it the way she told you. <laughs> Before this moment, you have been many things to each other. Acquaintances, friends, companions, lovers, dance partners, and even teachers. You have laughed, cried, matured, and have become stronger as a result of one another. Today is not only a celebration of where you are now and the road ahead, but the road is, that's yet to come. John Lennon said, a dream you dream alone is a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. And that reality starts right now. Everyone, please raise your glass with me to toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Vialba. Congratulations. Hey, welcome, everyone. Hey. I'd like to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brad Smith. I have the distinct honor of being this guy's best man. I'd like to start the speech off with a few thank yous. Number one, thank you, Victor, for making me your best man, a role that can definitely be described as the same as doing jury duty. No one wants to do it, but you know, what the hell are you gonna do? Number two, Pamela and Victor for putting this whole thing together. I can't imagine the amount of work and effort and money and everything that goes in and every f friend and family member that had a part of helping make this day as special as it is um, you could definitely tell that pam was the decision maker in everything because there is no way in hell victor would have picked out doing a choreographed ed sheeran dance <laughs> this guy's got two left feet right here two left feet that's it and um, I want to thank you guys all for being here. Um, I know a lot of people had flights in from all over the United States. Pam's brother, Brett, came all the way from Guam. Brett, hey, where's he at? There you are. All the way from Guam. 
So it's amazing. I mean, without you guys, it wouldn't be the party that it is tonight. And I want to see everybody on that dance floor tonight dancing your faces off. <laughs> now, I first met Pam and Victor roughly seven years ago. And um, first impression wise, I guess they thought I was a weirdo. I think you guys, in fact, told me that, right? <laughs> Which I guess really isn't that far from the truth. You guys know me. I had taken a job with a local contractor in Orlando, and uh, you could ask anyone who knew Victor and I back then. We became thick as thieves. We were uh, pretty much going up to the UCF bars, pretending we were still in college. We were uh, going to the beach for what seemed like every weekend. Dancers, $50 bottle nights, my personal favorite. Hey. Now, Pamela and I had known each other through mutual friends, and Pam, Vic, and I became close. We even went on a cruise together down to the Bahamas. It was amazing. Um, definitely glad we made it back alive, myself included, because we were definitely slamming some Bahama Mamas and seeing how fast those mopeds could go. So, I mean, on top of all those trips and um, everything, we eventually all moved in together. It was like a six bed, four bath house. It was like a twisted episode of Friends every day. Believe me, it was crazy. Yeah, that's true. One of the things I noticed about Victor is this guy takes forever to get ready. I was honestly surprised. The girls probably got ready faster than him today, honestly. The guy takes forever. So, I mean, looking at you guys today, you know, you guys are so incredibly happy. You guys are perfect for each other. So successful. Victor finished his master's this year. <laughs> Pamela, <laughs> master's degree. Dr. Rajadex. <laughs> right? I honestly think he should be taking her last name, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you, need to, you need to get on her level. You need to get on her level. So, I mean, in all honesty, there are very few people I would call before Victor in a time of need. And anyone who knows me knows that definitely happens every now and then. <laughs> um, I didn't know anyone when I moved to Florida. And, I mean, you guys were my first friends that I met, my best friends now. I want to wish you guys nothing but successfulness, happiness. And uh, I love you guys. So let's raise the glasses up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise one more time for our man of honor, Taylor, and our best man, Bradley. Bradley. 